What's going on you guys? It is Corbin Stuckey of AB Plus Production and today I'm here to give you another camera tip. We're going to be talking about specifically photography editing in Lightroom and we're going to be talking about the differences between hue, saturation, and luminance. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've got this picture on Lightroom. It's of this very beautiful woman on a beach. We've got some colors going on in this picture. We've got the sand, we've got her skin tone. Looks like she's been bathing out in the sun. Got that nice tan, that nice Florida tan. We have her blonde hair, and of course we have that beautiful ocean and sky in the background. And obviously the ocean and sky is blue. And I want you to keep on looking at the ocean and sky, that specific blue color throughout the editing process of this video, because that's the color we're gonna be actually changing today to show the examples of hue, saturation, and luminance. So let's go ahead and get started. So if we actually go down to the bottom to the color mixer, we're gonna go ahead and select what color we want to edit, and it's gonna be the, the blues, obviously. So we're gonna select the sky, and sure enough, the blue right here has been selected. So let's talk about hue, what is hue? So hue is when you take a color and you turn it into a totally different color. So if I take this toolbar right here, that's blue, and I drag it all the way to the bottom, it turns it into green. Almost kinda of like our Emerald Coast here in Destin, Florida. Hashtag represent. So let's undo that real quick and it reverts it back to blue. So if we drag it all the way to the right, it actually turns the sky and water into like this purple tint that we've got going on right here. Why does it do that? Well, because blue is in green and blue is in purple. These are colors that are associated with blue. Uh, blue is in these you know, secondary colors. That's what basically hue is. It's when you change the color of an already existing color and you change it to a different color, colors. So if that is hue, what is saturation? Well, let's take a look at that. So saturation, if we bump this up, saturation is when we take a color in the image and we add more color to it. So as you can see, the, the blue is just much more contrast in this image. It's much more colorful. It's not as plain as it was before. So I'm gonna undo this real quick. You guys get the sense of what saturation is. So since we were able to add more color to the color blue, what do you think would happen if we took that toolbar and dragged it down? You guessed it. It would take away that color instantly. It would make it black and white. Yeah, so that's basically what saturation is. It's boosting the color of a certain color in an image, or you could just take it away. All right, so I'm actually gonna undo that. So we've gathered a sense of what hue is. We've gathered a sense of saturation. What is luminance? So luminance is actually when you take a color and you make it brighter or darker. It doesn't really change the color necessarily. So if we take this luminance bar right here, we drag it all the way to the top, you can see that we've kind of overexposed our blues in this image. So that's what it does. It just brightens everything that's blue in the image. So let's undo that. And then if we drag it down all the way to the bottom, you guessed it, it's gonna make it darker. There we go. Um, this kind of looks weird though. It looks like she's Photoshopped because if you look at this, We've darkened the blue, but like she doesn't really match her environment. You can kind of see an outline of her at the beach. Even though this photo obviously wasn't Photoshopped, it looks very Photoshopped when we do this. So I'm actually gonna undo that real quick. So as you can see, these are tools that are offered to us in not only Lightroom, but other Adobe software such as uh, Photoshop, Premiere, video editing software, After Effects. These are tools that we need, so if we're going for a certain mood in our photos or videos, we're able to do that mood that we've got in our head. So I really like this photo. There really isn't much I would do necessarily to it. I think it looks fine just the way it is, but everybody has their different preferences. Everybody has their different styles of photo and video editing. Um, let me see what I can do here with this photo just to see if, if I wanted to add like a, a different touch to it. But like I said, Looks great overall. I just wanna see if there's anything I can do to add my style to it. So let's go ahead and get started. <sighs> okay, we're back. Like I said, the image looked fine just the way it was. I, I really liked that picture actually. It's just some people have their own ways of you know doing color correcting in pictures. What I like to do sometimes, this isn't all the time, clients are very different. I like to portray like our area as the, the sunny vacation vibe place that it is. But sometimes I like to be very moody. I like to be cinematic. So this is what I did to the photo. So this is the original photo right here. I actually cropped it because I thought it was a little bit too wide. So I made it vertical in this shot. So this is the original photo. And these are the effects that I've added. I made it a little bit more moody, kind of dark, dramatic, cinematic. I don't necessarily do this with a lot of my photos, but this was just a demonstration of what you can do differently 
to a photo to make it stand out from its previous edit. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the difference between hue, saturation, and luminance when you're editing your photos. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding marketing or any camera tips or video tips you'd like us to talk about in the near future. If you have any questions regarding any of those topics, just comment down below. Please like this video, share it. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I am Corbin Stuckey of AB Plus Production, and thank you for watching.